The extramarital affair that brought an end to John Edwards' political career is resulting in a spate of new headlines and potentially legal trouble for the former presidential candidate. Edwards has acknowledged that federal investigators are looking into whether some of his campaign funds might have been used to overpay his mistress. Here's Sharon Alfonsi. He seemed to be the perfect candidate with the perfect family. But now the affair that sidelined his career and nearly cost him his marriage could land John Edwards in jail. So he's a remarkably talented guy who uh, could have been president of the United States and instead his life is falling apart, his political career is over and he's facing legal jeopardy. Federal investigators are now trying to determine whether Edwards used campaign money to keep his mistress, Riley Hunter, quiet. That is a great speech. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I like it. <laughs> Records show that Hunter was paid $114,000 to shoot video for the Edwards website. The big question is whether she was paid by the campaign too much for that work. If she was, legal experts say, it's a problem. Because you have a campaign committee that's essentially laundering money to friends and family through, through bogus expenditures. In a statement, Edwards said, I am confident that no funds from my campaign were used improperly, adding that he's cooperating with investigators. This is the last sad chapter of a terrible political tragedy. It all comes the same week Elizabeth Edwards will release her new book. In it, she says she learned of the affair just days <laughs> after her husband announced his candidacy for Mark, president. She says she cried, screamed, and went to the bathroom to throw up adding that when he first admitted cheating, he, quote, left most of the truth out. Federal investigators will now try to fill in those holes, sorting through campaign documents to determine if Edwards broke more than his wife's heart, if he also broke the law. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.